if, if you were going to give a grassroots prescription of from bottom up repair to the Republican Party, what would you? One thing I would say is that, you know, I think sometimes as Republicans, um, we spend so much time being critical of other Republicans that may have a little different view from ourselves instead of really focusing on how we can all work together to put our principles um, into action for the country and to make a difference for the country. And to me, that is the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you think back to Ronald Reagan, and everyone Same loves way. to cite Ronald <laughs> Reagan, right? But he you was know, wonderful. One of the most important things that he, he talked about um, is he said two things that I always think about. He always said that, you know, if you're with me 80% of the time, you're my friend. Mm -hmm. Um, you're not my enemy because you disagree with me 20% of the time. And I think we need to remember that as a party mm -hmm. and unify together. He also said um, something to the effect that, uh, you know, it's amazing what you can get accomplished if you don't care who gets the credit. And to me, uh, we should focus less on who gets the credit and more about what we can do as a country. And so I would go back to one of our great presidents who really gave us two things as a party that if we would listen to them, I think we could unify together and make sure uh, that we could work very hard really for this country who needs us more than ever. So I guess one of my final um, w w subjects I wanted to bring up with you, and you've really alluded to it in a way, is, is really education and education of rule of law and process and governance. Sandra Day O'Connor uh, often takes the view that we eliminated civics in schools, and this is why a lot of children don't understand our government today. Do you agree with that? I agree that there should be much greater civics education in our schools. I think it's so important because when I have kids come visit me in Washington, mm -hmm. which they often do with their class mm -hmm. or their parents, um, I always say to them, this is your building. Mm -hmm. This is your government. And people need to understand that this isn't something that, you know, this just happens in Washington over here. This is about all of us. And I need to understand and I appreciate as a senator that I'm there to serve. Um, but that's where I think the civic education is critical. Right. And if we don't strengthen our civic education in our schools, then people obviously know less about the process. People are less engaged, less informed voters, and it's not good for the country. No, and, and to, to, for, for children, as you say, to grow up and understand freedom's not free and we all have to right. serve and do something. So tell us, uh, tell me particularly, this is a tough campaign year. This, isn't a, this is a tough election you're in. And, and you, of course, feel it's winnable because you're a winner. Yes, absolutely. Um, so I'm up for re-election this November and my uh, opponent is our, our sitting governor, Governor Maggie Hassan. And so, yes, this is a, this is a very tough election. Um, but, you know, this election for me is about my positive vision for the people of New Hampshire, uh, things that I've worked on um, in a bipartisan manner to get done for them, whether it's uh, this issue of the CARA bill to focus on our heroin and opioid epidemic, the work I've done for our veterans, mm -hmm. uh, the work that I've done to make sure um, that we get our fiscal house in order. Mm -hmm. Uh, for future generations. And so to me, this is a campaign about uh, serving. It's about what we can do together for New Hampshire and for the country. And I plan to certainly be talking about my positive vision mm -hmm. uh, of what we can do uh, for, for the, you know, I'm, I'm from New Hampshire and we have a great state motto, live free or die. So I love our state and uh, it's such a privilege to represent New Hampshire. Uh, but, you know, I think sometimes campaigns, and I've already seen it with my opponent in this campaign, it's all about negative, negativism and, you know, what's wrong and what's wrong with this person. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about what's right, and I want to talk about what we can do together to make a difference. So will there maybe be a president, presidential nomination and an I at vice presidency? Well, I don't think so. Or the other way around? Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy to be serving in the Senate, and there's so much more work to be done. Mm -hmm. It's been wonderful being with you, and I know uh, I wish you a lot of luck in everything Thanks. you do. And thank you so thank much you. for having thank me today. You. Thank you. Thank you for joining us uh, with this conversation today with Senator Kelly Ayotte, and hope I get to see you next time.